Hey gang, welcome to your review channel. Yes, we're gonna change the battery in this clock. We're gonna show you how to do it from beginning to end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and watch to the end, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Appreciate your time as always. Let's go. Today we're changing a battery on one of these Sanus clocks. Um, what this is is basically is a little um, metal, cast metal clock that's made in China. This is a vintage one. Uh, so what these are, those little tiny clocks, and they have different kinds. They have barbecues, and they have, this is a snowmobile. Uh, so a lot of people have these, and they're not sure how to change the battery. So I'm going to go over this with you really easy, real quickly, how to do this, um, how to change the battery on this clock. So the first thing you want to do, and they're all a little different, just so you know. So this one here is a snowmobile, and you could have... Uh, a plane or different, different, there's all different kind of variations of these little clocks out there. Uh, and some people just don't know how to change them. So I got a lot of emails and a lot of requests to make a video how to change the battery. So like I said, everyone's different. But so this one here is a little bit different than most of them. This has a little screw to take out the actual the uh, mechanism itself. Two screws, so let's loosen these up here. Let's just take out this top one and loosen the bottom one here. And let's take that off and you can see a little light on here so you can see. So there's two screws on this one. So if you have the snowmobile, Take out one of the screws, like that, and then move this to the side. Now this actually releases the actual movement of the clock itself, okay? So let's get the clock out. There's one more screw in the back here. Let's take that out. Drop that down. Okay, that's out. Okay, so we got the two screws out. Uh, move that to the side and here is the actual movement itself so how this is done you take a little tiny screwdriver and you're really better off with a small screwdriver honestly to get these backs off because sometimes it can be a real pain to get off so let's just see this is the little screwdriver in here and you simply just kind of twist the screw this way the screwdriver this way and you want to do basically it's almost in just like a spoon just like pop it open they can get in there back it's never been this battery probably has never been changed and that's all you have to do and these really just pop right open just like that and you can see that and just be careful you don't want to damage anything and these come right these are really easy to change um, they, they don't need any pressure plates to you know put them back on or anything they're really pretty simple so now we have the back open so what do we have here so we have the battery behind um, a little plastic retainer so this plastic retainer does two different things protects the battery and also keeps it in place so let's just remove that retainer. And again, everything comes out pretty easily. It's all plastic. This is a vintage one. This is probably maybe 15 years, 10 to 15 years old. This is an older, older version. So let's take that out there. And I'll leave some tools in the description below. And most of these batteries, just so you know, are the 377. Uh, battery is very common, they're very inexpensive. I'll leave a link uh, down below in the description field. Uh, where you can order these batteries at like, I don't know, eight, ten dollars or five. Uh, if you go into a store, one battery is five dollars or eight dollars. So let's say that shows you the savings uh, when you do things yourself. So now, after you get that back off, the retainer off, you just take a little screwdriver and you just, th these are real, like I said, super, super simple. You just take it out, you just kind of just push it out of the way. And most of the time, these, these last around a couple of years, these little batteries, silver, silver oxide batteries. Take that battery out, dispose of that properly. Um, so what we do now is we get a new battery out of our package. It's a 377 battery. And again, these are very common for this specific brand of uh, clock. And you can get these clocks anywhere, yard sales, thrift stores, or just uh, general estate sales, anything whatsoever. So once you push, push the battery in, turn the clock over, let's see if it's working. That's the first thing you wanna do. And yes, we have movement. So 99% of the time, get it, time, <laughs> that these are simple as just changing the battery. Now we just pop back in our retainer, just like you saw how we removed it with your fingers. Just pop the retainer back in real easy. And then you have your back. And in the back, you just have to just press back on. Just like you see here, press it in, and that is installed. That is done. Make sure it's working. It is working. Let's set the time on it right now. It is 612. So let's just pull the tab. Let's get this to the right time. 612. Beautiful. Got that in there. And now we're going to mount it back onto the base, which is the actual snowmobile. So 
so what you want to do is just basically line it back up to where it was before right we have the, the screw here the first screw let's put that first screw in um, if you're enjoying the video and you're uh, I added some value to you please consider subscribing to my channel please don't forget to like and share as well it does help me so I can continue helping you guys to do little projects around your house let's see if that caught the thread and then let's see and then we put the small one back on here right here like that let's push this back in line it up to the hole use your small screwdriver and i'll leave like i said the little screwdriver uh, a link for the screwdriver a link for everything okay beautiful and that is it so that is installed just like you see here so under five minutes around five minutes or so you can change the battery yourself there's no reason to go pay someone 30 or 40 bucks or 20 bucks whatever they charge today to change the battery it's so simple it's this little tiny uh silver oxide little button batteries this is a 377 uh 376 battery and energizer and i'll leave a link down below where you can get these batteries i'll leave a link down below where you can get some of these really cool little tools to do it yourself um, and if you have any questions or any comments or if you need help leave a comment down below and i will be glad to help you if you have any issues at all these usually open up pretty easy uh they stay that it's very easy to handle very easy to use um, and that's it. All right, guys. So I wanted to make this quick video. I hope it wasn't too long. I wanted to show you how to change it. And it's pretty much anything like any of these type of um, brands like you see these little tiny watches like this, a little tiny um, little uh, trinkets or special specialty watches uh, or clocks or whatever. A lot of times these little tiny batteries are really super simple to do. And that's it. All right, guys. The snowmobile, snowmobile is ready to go. Rock and roll. We're going to actually list this online. We're gonna put this on for $25. I paid 58 cents at an estate sale. I bought a whole bunch of these and replaced all the batteries myself and um, something that you can do as well to make some extra money. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next review. And also don't forget to watch all my other videos as well. I have a ton of videos on how-to videos. And also if you're interested in eBay, I have eBay videos on here. So I have all kinds of really cool and interesting videos. So I hope I brought you some value. I hope I taught you how to do something. Don't be afraid. Do it yourself. Save a ton of money. It's nothing. It's so simple that a lot of people get really nervous when they see things like this. They're not sure what to do. A little screwdriver, a little package of batteries. And you'd be surprised how much you can fix yourself. Because most people say, oh, it's dead. Take it for a buck or a quarter or whatever. They don't know how to repair it. But now you do. And now this can sell between... This one here, I might even put on for like maybe $35. It's kind of unique. It's a snowmobile. Uh, so they have, I have a snowmobile. I got a claw. I got a a, a barbecue, I got a plane, and I got this and a couple other ones I got. Uh, and it was very, very cheap, like three bucks for everything. So that's it. All right, guys, I appreciate it. And I'll see you at the next review.